My family owns restaurants, so I've always been around food, I've always been around people cooking, and I think it's just natural for me to end up in, in a kitchen and to end up, you know, being part of the restaurant world. I love it. I don't think I could have ever been anything else but a chef. I was running uh, a kitchen in Soho and I, I did it for a, a very long time, but well, actually I did it for a, an amount of time and in that time I gave it my 100%, which meant that, you know, where, when I arrived to where I wanted it to be, I was actually, you know, quite overwhelmed by it all. And I knew I needed to do something else, but I didn't know what that something else was. I think chefs just have this mentality that you go from one restaurant to another and that's progression. My friends were saying that schools don't open on the weekend, so you're not going to get called in. Um, and then six years later, I actually think it's the most rewarding job a chef can have. And to be honest, the best choice I've done with my career. I think the biggest challenge is changing the perception of school food. The chefs that we work with coming up with recipes, it's amazing what you can actually do and I think the hardest thing that we find is changing that perception and showing that it can be done. The key thing is uh, linking. So as soon as a child you know, pulls a carrot out of the soil, 99.9% .9 they'll eat it. You know, and it's linking, I think, showing where food comes from. The education part of the programme is done by each chef that we put in the school. So it is, you know, slowly, slowly, I think kids are getting a good understanding of uh, the love of food that a chef actually holds. The benefits of Philly, I think, uh, one is taste. Um, it's quality and it's, it's versatile. By having Philly in the fridge, I think I could actually do four or five different items that I need in the school day. I think my revelation was when I didn't have time to do a white sauce, um, and I literally had about 20 minutes to serve 450 kids, and I melted Philly in milk, and it saved me about two hours of labor. So that is my one, one tip. I think with Philly, it's ordering one item that you know is going to cover a range of different products that you have to produce in the kitchen. And also when you run out of something, you know if you do have Philly in the fridge, it's just going to work to create a dish in five minutes for a child who hasn't had some food. For more inspiration, go to the new Philadelphia Professional website and download the recipes I've done for school cooks.